Hey guys, Finley over Finley Turbo. Today we're going to build a 60 67 12, and you're going to join me. All right, so first we start off with a Mellet HX35 rebuild kit. Really good quality parts. Get a nice clean bearing housing. Always check everything out. Make sure there's nothing in there that's going to cause any issues. Don't see any burrs. Nice and clean. I already washed this one out. All right, so first thing I do, open up this mallet kit. I like to cut the top off with a razor blade. That way I get a little bit easy access and that lid doesn't keep flopping back over me. Check out that thrust. Open that bad boy up. Take a look at it. Looks nice. No issues. I put both journal bearings on top of the thrust. I bust out the hot shots. Adrenaline assembly lube. Extremely, extremely high zinc content. That's the good stuff. So I come in here, put a nice thick layer on it, both bearings, and all along the back side of the thrust that has the oil feed passages in it. So I take that. All right. Pull out one of these circlips. All right, and we're going to have the smooth side against the th against the journal bearing. All right, so once I snap that in, I come in here with a pick. If you can see, it's not perfectly seated, so I'm going to come in here with a pick and listen. There we go. Hear that pop? That's it seated in there. So then I go in here with the pick, make sure it's in spin. All right. Now I'm going to come over here, grab one of these nicely oiled up journal bearings. Look at that nice and Oh, party foul. Let's make sure it's nice and clean after dropping it. Yep, looks good. I'm going to drop that in there. Since I just wiped off a little bit of assembly lube, I'm going to give her a little extra dab. Nice. Come in here, we seat that rear journal bearing. Grab another smooth side is going to go against the rear journal. Once I get that in there seated, I come in here, bam, nice and seated, looks good. Flip it over, go to the other side, grab another one of those bad boys. We want the smooth side against the front journal bearing. Go in here and make sure that's nice and seated all the way around. Spin it. All right, looks good. Give it a little assembly lube. 
all around where that front thrust collar sits and down where the journal, journal bearing rides. I also like to put a little bit of assembly lube in that front thrust collar feed, thrust journal bearing feed port. All right, so now I'll drop that front journal bearing in. Smooth part's gonna go against the journal bearing. Nice and seated. All right, next we go to our balanced rotating assembly. That's This is kind of a different 60, 60, 7, 12 build. I'm using my clip turbine and a 60 mil pump. That was a little bit dirty. Wipe those bad boys off. There we go. install that thrust collar. Now install the thrust bearing. The feed port is going to match up with the feed port in the bearing housing. And then I'm going to use that alignment dowel to hold it in. And that's what's going to set it. All right. Now the next thing I like to do Grab that front seal plate O-ring, get it all nice and oiled. Come in here, make sure it sits all the way down. All right, nice. Now I'm going to grab a front seal, front seal plate and a oil splash guard. Sometimes these go together real easy. Sometimes I need a couple firm hits. I just hit it with the base of my palm. Then I come in here and I make sure the oil splash guard is sitting underneath. It's kind of hard to see. You do not want that inner edge sticking up above the seal plate. So you can hit it with sort of a straight pick. It's not touching, which is good. That's what we want, but I always look at it. All right, so now we're gonna grab our front thrust collar and we're gonna pick out the proper piston ring. The Mellet has uh, several different varieties of piston rings in there. Not, depending on how familiar you are with whole sets, they have so many applications, not all the it could be an HX35 or an HX40, but it could have a different piston ring design. Some of them have dual piston rings. Some of them have dual piston rings on the turbine. Some of them have one piston ring on the turbine. There's just a near infinite array of designs. So I come in there. Let's see if you can see that. I make sure the opened end of that piston ring is what goes in last. I seat the back, slide it right in. It's nice. I'm going to come in here. That's all real nice and oiled up. Make sure the splash guard is facing the correct way. That'll press in nice. I'll come in here and install the front circlet. 
the top of the circlip is going to go right where the inlet feet is. Just like that. There's the top of the circlip, there's the feet. And now, I'm going to make sure it seats. Same thing. I just do the base of my palm. You don't need to do it with a hammer. So now that's all done, nice and seated. Look in the feet port, looks nice and clean. Now I am gonna grab a heat shield. So I'm going to install the rear piston ring on the turbine first. This turbine only has one piston ring. Put that on. Now I'm gonna put the heat shield on. Grab some of my assembly lube. I put a little bit on the piston ring, that way it has a little bit of lubrication to seat first, and then I dab it up. There we go, you heard that pop. That is the rear, that is the turbine piston ring seating inside the bearing housing. Now I'm gonna come over here, get my comp wheel on, Set it about 90 degrees. The alignment marks are going to be 90 degrees from each other on install. So I'm going to come over here. Grab my handy dandy torque wrench. Definitely not using 18 foot pounds. You go to inch pounds. We're going to go to, I use 124 to 128 depending on the application. And this is left hand thread, so off is on. So 124 inch pounds. Bam. Just like that. The alignment marks are on the money. And we are good to go. And I'll press the heat shield up against bearing housing and spin it. After I spin it, I mark the turbine shaft with a pin. Not always, but I, I usually try to, showing that I spun it, and then I'll spin it again once I install it into a bearing house, into a Compressor cover and turbine housing. All right, so I'm gonna grab a compressor cover and we'll install that next. All right, so now we're gonna install a compressor cover. The first thing we do is inspect it, make sure there's no burrs. Bust out my handy dandy pick. Come in here and I just kind of go over everything just to make sure it's cheap insurance. This one looked really good, but I'm going to do it anyway. All right. Didn't feel anything that stuck out. Good to go. All right, so now I'm going to seat at the hole. Look at that. We want to get the O-ring on that cover. So we'll stab that bad boy on. I'll come over here. Seat that bad boy in. You hear that pop? That's how you know it's seated good. Always do the spin test. All right. Now we are going to install the cover circlip. That's when I bust out these bad boys. Come in here. I like setting it. 90 degrees from the drain. Direction doesn't really matter, but if you put it under the drain or under the feed, it's kind of hard to get to. Now, you gotta come in there, seat it. If you saw how much movement there was. Now, 
That seating is really important, otherwise the compressor cover will blow off. And there we go. That's just the heat shield. How to build a 6067 whole set.